How often have you heard someone say that EVs are too expensive, or that their batteries won't last? Or maybe you've heard the conspiracy theory that EVs are part of a larger plan to control and monitor individuals' movements. Such things are quite normal because everyone out there can share their opinion using social media and other platforms. However, the problem arises when these opinions become facts in the minds of the general public, leading to misconceptions and myths. So, let's look at the seven most common myths surrounding EVs and bust them once and for all. A common misconception about EVs is that they're too expensive. You'll see people pointing towards the high upfront cost of EVs and comparing them to cheaper gasoline or diesel cars. Yeah, it's true that there can be an initial upfront investment, but the total cost of ownership paints a different picture. Let's break it down. Although EVs often come with a higher price tag than their internal combustion engine counterparts, they become cheaper over time. To start, let's look at running costs. For example, EV journeys can cost as little as 8 pennies a mile when using off-peak electricity. That's pretty low compared to the price of petrol and diesel. What's more, production costs for EVs are falling. By the mid to late 2020s, EVs are expected to cost the same as petrol or diesel cars. Some EV manufacturers like Tesla and BYD have also implemented dynamic pricing strategies. In certain markets, they might reduce the cost of some models by up to 20% which translates to savings worth thousands of dollars. So, if someone tells you that EVs are too expensive, remind them to consider the long-term cost benefits and check out the latest pricing trends. Another myth that needs to be debunked is the claim that EV batteries need to be replaced as often as every five years. This couldn't be further from the truth. Most electric vehicles on the market today come with an impressive 8-10 to 10 year battery warranty. And it gets even better. Most EV batteries are expected to last much longer than their warranty period, thanks to continuous advancements in battery technology. New battery lifespans are continually improving, ensuring that your EV can keep you on the road for years to come. But what happens when your EV battery finally reaches the end of its life? It's not the end of the road. These batteries can be repurposed and given a second life in renewable energy storage systems, contributing to a more sustainable future. We already have a detailed video on how EV batteries are recycled. You can watch it if you want to learn more about it. The link will be in the description below. This is again one of those misconceptions fueled by social media conspiracy theorists. One example is the October 2023 conflagration at Luton Airport's car park. Many were quick to blame an electric vehicle for the blaze. However, the fire brigade confirmed it was a diesel car that sparked the fire. The anti-EV faction seems to conveniently overlook the fact that highly flammable fuel is fundamental to combustion engines. On the other hand, EVs are statistically much safer. Automotive expert Quentin Wilson claims EVs are 19 times less likely to catch fire than their gasoline counterparts. Of course, we have to acknowledge that EV fires can be incredibly intense when they occur. Fire brigades are actively seeking guidelines and best practices for dealing with each manufacturer's batteries to ensure safety. However, not all battery chemistries are created equal. For example, BYD's LFP cell chemistry is engineered to withstand extreme conditions, such as having a nail driven through it. This reduces the likelihood of catastrophic failure. According to some anonymous web commenters, there's a big conspiracy driving the transition to EVs. Dark forces at hand, they claim. But just think about it. Why on earth would governments push people into EVs against their will? Governments in Europe, the Americas, and Japan are all eyeing the next election. Their need for short-term popularity is almost pitiful. If EVs were really part of some sinister scheme, wouldn't it be easier to slash petrol taxes for an instant boost in public approval? And what about the car companies? They're making slim profits right now because batteries are expensive to manufacture, requiring huge investments in new factories. So, when someone brings up this so-called EV conspiracy, just ask them, why would they? Many people believe that electric vehicles can't meet their daily travel demands. This is again far from the truth. 
EVs actually have more than enough range to cover a typical household's daily travel, which is about 50 miles on average per day. And here's an exciting fact. Around 85% of households travel less than 100 miles on a typical day. You might be surprised to know that most EV models can go above 300 miles on a fully charged battery. Some go even further. For example, the BMW i7 xDrive 60 offers 387 miles on a full charge. And that's not all. Automakers have announced plans to release even more long-range models in the coming years. Now, while it's true that various factors like how you drive and weather conditions can affect your EV's range, researchers found that range could decrease by about 40% due to cold temperatures and the use of heat. With the rapid rise of EVs, there's an understandable concern that our current electricity grid won't be able to meet the increased demand. But this doesn't mean that the grid can't handle EVs forever. For example, the UK energy grid is undergoing a massive transformation. There are extensive plans underway to balance supply and demand seamlessly. Here's the exciting part. According to the Committee on Climate Change, electrifying all vehicles could mean road transport will comprise up to 15% to 20% of total electricity demand in 2050. That's manageable and an opportunity for renewable energy growth. The government believes the grid can absolutely handle this. And guess what? Smart charging technologies are set to reduce the need for new infrastructure even further. With innovations like vehicle-to-grid charging, EVs can actually give back to the grid during peak times, making everything work smoother. So it's just a myth that the grid can't meet the demand for EVs. Last but not least is the myth about EVs being more prone to breaking down. This is again the words of critics who don't want to see the EV revolution succeed. In reality, EVs have fewer moving parts than traditional combustion engines. This means they are less likely to experience mechanical failures and require less maintenance. This translates to more reliable and cost-effective vehicles for consumers. Think about it. No engine oil changes, no complicated gearbox. This reduction in complexity translates to fewer things that can go wrong. Additionally, many EV manufacturers offer longer warranties for their vehicles and batteries. This is because they're confident about the durability and reliability of their EVs. So, if someone tells you that EVs are more prone to breaking down, ask them to show you the numbers and compare them to traditional cars. So, these were the seven common myths about EVs debunked. If you come across anyone spouting any of these misconceptions, you now know the facts to set them straight. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to never miss another upload. Thanks for watching.